Ukraine will attack the Russian army and infrastructure with 2 million drones. Ukraine is set to produce 2 million drones this year. Hanna Vodzdaya, Deputy Minister of Strategic Industries of Ukraine, said this. At the same time, she acknowledged that the current needs of Ukrainian troops far surpass the country's financial capabilities, even with the assistance of partners. Even with our partners, it would be difficult for us. However, we are working in this direction. Vodzaya stated, we are ramping up drone production, she added. Vodzaya addressed doubts raised among Ukrainians by President Zelensky's statement about producing a million drones, clarifying that, in terms of production, we are far beyond a million. I am confident that this year we will reach the mark of two million, Vodzaya emphasized. Highlighting the capability of Ukrainian drone manufacturers, the deputy minister mentioned they can already produce up to 150,000 units monthly. The drone sector in Ukraine involves around 200 domestic companies, with nearly 60 of them already included in state orders. In an interview with The Independent, Alexander Kamishin, the Minister of Strategic Industries, emphasized Ukraine's urgent need for ammunition due to the ongoing war with Russia. He noted that Ukraine requires an amount of ammunition that no single country can deliver, including the United States. Kamishin also highlighted that the capabilities of Ukraine's defense industry far exceed the funding currently available for its support. Ukraine is positioning itself as a global pioneer in unmanned technologies, according to Kamishin, with UAVs becoming a crucial weapon on modern battlefields. He expressed confidence that this year, Ukraine will produce over a million FPV drones and thousands capable of flying more than 1,000 kilometers, reaching oil refineries in Russia. In a meeting with Ukrainian and international journalists at the end of 2023, President Zelensky stated, we will produce one million drones next year. We will make a million. We will do everything to make it happen. Protection against threats from Russia. First NATO base opened in Albania. Albania has opened the first NATO base. The airbase, located 80 kilometers south of the capital Tirana, is designed to protect the Western Balkans region from the threats posed by Russia, informs NATO. This is another element of security from our region of the Western Balkans, which we know well may be endangered from the neo-imperialist threats and ambitions of the Russian Federation, stated the Prime Minister of Albania, Edi Rama. He also announced that initially the airbase would house two Black Hawk helicopters and three Bayraktar strike drones. The opening ceremony was attended by the President of Albania, Bajram Begaj, Prime Minister Edi Rama, as well as military leadership from Albania and NATO. It is reported that around 50 million euros have been allocated for the modernization of the Soviet-era base. The reconstruction of the facility began in 2019, during which time the runways, control tower, hangars, and warehouses were renovated. According to NATO, acting spokesperson Dylan White, the airbase will serve as a crucial NATO hub, strengthening the alliance's presence in the Western Balkans. In the first half of 2024, NATO is conducting a series of exercises under the overall codename Steadfast Defender 24. Poland is one of the participating countries and will host a significant number of soldiers and equipment from allies on its territory. As part of Steadfast Defender 24, Poland will also conduct national exercises called Dragon 24, involving the armed forces of other countries. Additionally, on March the 4th, large-scale military exercises called Nordic Response 24 began in northern Finland, Sweden and Norway. These exercises, led by Norway, will continue until March the 15th. Approximately 20,000 military personnel from 14 countries, along with over 50 ships, including frigates and submarines, and more than 100 aircraft, including destroyers, helicopters and other aircraft, will participate. Furthermore, in the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Sicily, maritime exercises named Dynamic Manta began on the morning of February the 26th. These NATO exercises serve as a platform to test and enhance the Alliance's crisis response capabilities. Russia developed a new weapon to shoot down US and European missiles. The Russian military conducted tests of the S-500 Prometheus air defense system, which they claim is capable of shooting down hypersonic targets, reports Defense Express. 
Supposedly, during these tests, the S-500 system demonstrated the ability to shoot down hypersonic aerial targets. As an example, they cite prospective Western hypersonic missiles, combat units of intercontinental ballistic missiles or guided warheads, as well as short-range ballistic missiles. Russia claims that such capabilities of the S-500 were supposedly confirmed during the launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile from the Tula nuclear-powered submarine of the Russian Northern Fleet, which was launched in the Laptev Sea. Russian authorities attribute the successful destruction of targets to powerful radars, electronic computing systems, and highly maneuverable anti-aircraft missiles. Among publicly available information, it is noted that the Russian anti-aircraft missile system is a new generation of anti-aircraft missile systems, which are expected to apply the principle of separate resolution of tasks for the destruction of ballistic and aerodynamic targets. As early as 2021, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov claimed that the S-500 system was allegedly in serial production. There are also plans to develop a naval version of the promising S-500 anti-aircraft missile system, including for installation on the Storm aircraft carrier project. Previously, a representative of the Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Major General Vadim Skibitsky, stated that during the war, Russia transferred air defense systems from the Far East and the Northern region to Moscow and the occupied Crimea. However, the power of defense does not always correspond to the aggressor's statements. The representative of the military intelligence reported that the most powerful complex they have in service is the S-400, but even it is not entirely perfect. There are cases when their equipment fails. The well-known Pantsir also misses our aircraft which ultimately reach their targets, he added. <music>